I'm from the streets of the ghetto. You know the ghetto, the streets, where every day is a struggle. If you don't work, you don't eat. I'm on a journey trying to change the world and build up my people. Show them no matter where you're from, our spirit is equal. Shed the slave mentality. I live in this pitiful. We'll buy a flat screen, but can't afford a physical. Government give us food stamps, keep our lights on in the projects. Sad thing is, that's the government's project. Keep us comfy at the bottom so we don't want to rise up. We're choosing to be slaves. When we gonna wake up and see that the world is much bigger than your block, than crack. Cadillacs and corrupted crooked cops putting guns in the hood to control the blacks and we dying by the millions please look at the facts from blacks killing blacks with a bullet or heroin this reality was sick take my lyrics like medicine can you hear me now okay <laughs> hey boy If you had the name in your style of music, what would you call it? That's simple, I call it Payboy style. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. I'm not here to um, try to please somebody personally, I'm here to be who I am. So I feel like if you just be, be yourself and make your music from who you are, from your heart, it's going to always come out different. That's, I think that's one big thing that separates me. I'm not afraid to experiment with other types of music. Uh, I mean, sometimes everything you do is not going to be perfect. You know, it's not going to be the best thing, but you don't know until you try. I love uh, table dance. First song, like a lap dance or table dance. I actually like the table dance song. That was pretty cool. Why did they you did like the little halftime thing at the end. Full of energy, uh, the guy runs back and forth. I like that he did something different with the whole rock band. The way I utilize my uh, live band is in a couple of different ways. You know, you're not the only person on stage. And one thing I never really liked was having a lot of people on stage not doing anything, you know? So if I'm gonna have people on stage with me, then I'm gonna have people on stage that's actually contributing. It's it's all, you know, improvising, um, things he'll say, because he'll, he'll do a lot of improvising as far as uh, talking to the crowd and stuff and talking to us. And you know, all of us combined as one, trying to, just this massive ball of energy trying to get the crowd. Actually, I mainly play, play like metal stuff. That's what I've always played, rock. <coughs> I never thought I would ever <laughs> play this in my life. And it's it's pretty cool. I mean, they, what they've done already before I got in is, you know, totally changed my perspective. Yeah, we feed yeah. off each other's energy, you know, we have to. We have to feed off each other's energy, you know. If, um, I might be uh, not into it as much as some of them. Keep getting all that stuff in his foot. Yeah. <laughs> put, yeah, put me right into it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and vice versa, you know, so we got to feel off each other's energy to make it hot. They can put it on, yeah. Imagine all the things I can do to you. Do to you. Okay. A lot of times in hip hop, people use just like a DJ or just a CD. And I feel like when you do that, you kind of structure yourself. In a, in a robot form, you have to stay on this point and this point because that's what's on the CD for the crowd. But when you have like a live band with live instruments, you can kind of just go off the vibe of the crowd. Nothing against Jay-Z. I mean, I like some of the music. But you know, I have the Jay-Z style that just kind of stand there and rap. That's cool, but it's kind of boring. Uh, Payboy is more uh, energetic and his music comes across as it's something that he's passionate about. So the people I can tell in the crowd, they get passionate. You got a lot of MCs, rappers, performers, whatever you want to call it, who say that they do this, they rap, they love to do what they do. But nobody's actually backing themselves. You know, you got to have ambition, you got to go after others. So Payboy, he represents that. Because see, Payboy, he's going to come with substance. He's going to have something to say. Payboy is just very true to himself. I'm pretty sure it's, it'll be said a million times. He will never forget where he came from. I believe a lot of people when they decide 
I'm going to rap or, you know, I want to be a hip-hop star. They take the approach of they want to look like everybody else. They want to sound like everybody else. So even someone who's educated, they may shave the education off a little bit. So that's why, like, I don't really make songs like um, downgrading women at all because I, I love women. I mean, like, in my shows, like, I go out sometimes just buy like a dozen roses just so I can go find one lady or several ladies um, to give roses to. I, I think of a lot of my lyrics actually just driving. I might just be in a car, you know, and I might see anything. A box full of CDs. I'm driving my car thinking about my struggle. I had a box full of CDs in my car. And I'm like, okay, I got a box full of CDs. In the back, I got some posters and I got a dream. Overdrawn bank account, my tank on me, you know? It's hard working two jobs supporting the grind For them quality tracks and the studio time And some posters just to hang up in the summer season Haters come around, rip them down for no reason Snakes trying to take every dollar you work for By making you pay to perform at their shows What you know about being so excited to rap Cause they said you was opening for a big name Mac And they even press flies, you believe it's true And the only people show up is the owner and you I got a box full of CDs, some posters, and a dream. An overdrawn bank account, my tank go eat. I mean, it's just a true story. You know, all my life gonna go for this. Hoping one day soon God answers my wish, and I try. And I try, you know? I mean, that's all we could really do as artists, as independent artists out here. So if it's something that you really want and you truly, truly want it, you have to just work hard for it and like I said, be yourself, make music for it that, that you like. Let me get this right. You say you can be my everything, cooking clean, sexy dreams, worthy of the diamond ring. Made me give up all these beautiful women and made me leave a batch of lifestyle I'm living. You and me chilling, vaulted out ceilings right by my side. I perform for millions. I can picture that if your heart is real. So boo, break it down. Tell me how you feel. I feel like there's a fan base for everybody as long as it's good quality music. Take time to perfect your craft before you put it out there too. World. You're gonna be in the club all the time on the weekends, or you're gonna take that same club money, drink money that you're spending, and spend on some tracks or some studio time or mixing your songs or you know, mastering your songs. Um, also, when it comes to practice, I mean, I practice relentlessly, I mean, all the time, 24 7. So I'm always trying to work on my craft. You can't you can't have everything to, to, to try to gain what you want, you know. It's like, do I struggle now and, and live good later, or do I? y'all live okay now forever you know so if anybody out here that feel like somebody owns something what you gonna tell them you don't know <laughs> you gonna pay me thank you so much